Hello stock traders, I hope all of you had a successful trading day today. In today's video, I'm going to give a recap of Thursday and how the top seven list did. Also give you some new picks to help you to be successful for the weekend and for next week. I am not a financial advisor. You need to do your own due diligence. I believe it's important to trade a strategy rather than just trade random stocks. And so every single stock that is part of this list is part of my insider swing play. It has been very successful and solid for me year after year. All right, well, let's get into it. We have so many great stocks to cover. Let's get right to it. The one thing I would appreciate is if you could hit that most amazing and wonderful like button as it helps this video out very much. And if you have not done so before, please subscribe and turn on those bell notifications so you get notified when one of these videos comes out. So if you had all the stocks from the top seven list that was on the pre-market video for Thursday morning, then you would have had a 0.50% gain. So small gain, you know, pretty good. Personally, I had a 3.81% loss. I got creamed by some of my other picks. And you will hear as I do my recap of some of my sales that I had, that I did not have the best trading day today. And those kind of days are going to happen. I still believe in my strategies and overall they have done very well. And so I will stick to it. Month to date, this list is at a 39.20% gain. So doing pretty well. That's a very solid month. Year to date, I am at a 65.42% gain, so that is well on my way for a 500% gain for the year. I like to use Weeble for my trading, and the reason why I do is because I can trade as early as 3 a.m. and as late as 7 p.m. at night. I think it's really important to be able to pick up these stocks and to dispose of stocks whenever you need to, so those extended hours really help you. Also, a lot of fantastic tools as part of Weeble. So if you are looking for free stocks, please check it out. We have a link in the description down below. You get one free stock for signing up and two free stocks for depositing money. We also have a group, our Patreon group that we have that is attached for this. If you want all of my trades, when I'm buying, when I'm selling, if you're curious about what I'm doing and you want to benefit from those and get my analysis on insider activity as soon as it's available, then I highly recommend that you check out the group. We have a link in the description down below. We have different levels depending upon your level of seriousness and how you want to trade. I want to help you to be successful and that is why that is there. I'm looking forward to seeing you there. All right, so now let's cover our sales. The first is in our premium room, sold FSLY call options for a 96% loss. This was a bad hit on my part. I should have sold it before the earnings report, but I was down in it and this earnings run-up play did not work out on this particular play. Now, overall, I mean, I've had many, many picks from this play that I've had 300% gains. This one just happened not to work and it was just really not good. Also sold ACIC for a 18.21% gain in our premium room. This was one of the call outs. This was a SPAC that had had a nice little run up and so I kind of felt it was time to move on and take my profits on that on a day like today. In the standard room sold MARA, sold MARA for a 58% loss. I day traded options and had a really bad time on that with the market drop that happened this morning and so that just did not work out and then I sold HITIF for a 26% loss and sold DPW for an 8.58% loss and sold HOL for a 5.83% gain. So that one was pretty good. Looking forward to tomorrow and having much better results. In the top seven, only sold one stock and that was TAP, sold for a 1.32% gain. This had been three days since it's insider activity and it didn't quite move for us and so took a small gain on it and we'll make money with other stocks somewhere else with that money. All right, let's get to the top seven and others. Let's start with YAYO. This is Rideshare Rental. And on Thursday, this finished up 1.40%. My average in it's $4.95. Since calling this out, it is up 2.47%. So it's not up very much. And definitely you can take advantage of this one. This just still has 
very far to go. But John Gray has been loading shares. He's loaded at $5.05. And also it's rumored that this stock is going to go public. They have brought on particular board members that do exactly that. And so they are either going to do an IPO or a reverse merger. This is big for them. And the insider activity keeps happening on this. And so I think there's something to that. It's very valid. All right, the other that is not in the top seven, but is a very good pick and has been good for us is CIN. F. This is Cincinnati Financial. And on Thursday, this finished up 0.94%. My average in it's $91.15. Since calling this out, it is up 3.87%. Hopefully you got in on this. Director bought shares in open market and analysts have an average target price of $87.83. Now for our top seven. Number seven is KLIC. And this is Kulik and Safa. And on Thursday, this finished down 4.74%. So this did not have the best of days. My average in it is $47.07. Since calling this out, it is up 5.54%. So it's doing well for us. Director Gregory Malinick with a really nice open market purchase. And it was enough for me to jump on and have been riding the momentum upwards. Analysts have an average target price of $59.50. And so this one still has room to go. Number six is KMPR. And on Thursday, this finished down 1.04%. This is Kemper. And my average in it is $73.67. Since calling this out, it is up 0.75%. George Cochran, director, purchased shares multiple times. And analysts have an average target price of $88.20. 25 cents. This is one that should continue to do well. Number five is HOFV. This is Hall of Fame Resort. On Thursday, this had a rougher day. This finished down 5.36%. My average in it's $2.75. Since calling this out, it is down 3.64%. Three directors, a CFO, and the CEO took part in the latest offering, which I always find very bullish when we have big insider activity during an offering. These officers get free shares and they decided that this is a very good deal. If you were an officer of a company, you wouldn't buy shares of an offering unless you felt that the offering price was way too low. And so seeing that many officers go in gives me confidence that the stock is going to perform. All right, number four is COTY. This is Cody. And on Thursday, this finished down 1.58%. My average in it is $7.32. Since calling this out, it is down 1.09%. Robert Singer, director, bought shares at $6.63. And Oliver Gaudet, director, bought shares at $6.86. So usually with two big purchases like that, an open market like both these directors did, there is some news to be coming out. The insider activity is the news before the news. Analysts have an average target price of $7.54, which is really light. Should see it blow past that. And there should be some news coming out soon, usually when the officers load up that we see news shortly. All right, number three is ONTX. And on Thursday, this finished up 16.07%. So this was the number one stock on yesterday's video, and it did very, very well. This is on Cobia Therapeutics, and my average, and it's $1.51. Hopefully you got in on this. Since calling it out, it is up 9.27%, but multiple officers have been buying Buying the offering, two directors, a CEO, the CFO, even their lawyer got in on the act. And so that is a lot of officers to be a part of it. There's obviously a sentiment that this is way undervalued. And so I think ONTX is one that we should see perform well for us. Number two, this is brand new to list. Here we go. Here's the two new ones that are new. These are the ones that you really need. And the first one is M-A-C-K. This is Merrimack Pharmaceutical. And on Thursday, this finished down 1.09%. My average in it is $8.80. Since calling this out, it is down 7.05%, but very good insider activity, and it was multiple buys and open market. And this is Gary Crocker, who's been buying up shares. And so we should see this one move upwards should be a good one for us. Number one is CRVS. This one's brand new to list. And on Thursday, this finished up 4.31%. My average in it is $3.80. Since calling this out, it is down 0.26%. But the CEO, really nice purchase and should do really well. I love the analyst target on this of $8.60. We should really see this one fly upwards. This would be a good one to grab some tomorrow. 
I know the market could be rough, and if you sit there and you watch every single stock, you can kind of freak out and get emotional about everything. But know that this little downturn is temporary, and I am expecting great things. I'm wishing all of you the best and looking forward to a great end of the week, and hopefully you have a fantastic weekend, and Raytoven out.